yeah, today we, we're going to be chatting a bit about saving your, your passwords in the browser. I know previously we've spoken about you know saving saving your passwords in a password manager or using a password manager. So I think let's maybe just touch on that quickly. I, I know it could be confusing for, for some of the listeners. Why would you save your passwords in your browser as opposed to in a password manager or should they ideally be working together? Uh, for sure, yes. I mean, just, you know, going back there, we're talking about new behaviors. We're trying to change behavior. We're trying to change the way people use passwords. We're trying to encourage strong password use. And, you know, convenience is everything when changing behavior. If people are finding it difficult to implement a new behavior, they're, they're not going to do it. They're going to find another way to to do it there. So it's, you know, using the same passwords or using sticky notes with their password. So we're trying to encourage password managers and whichever way or whichever form they come in is a lot better than than what a lot of people normally do with their, their password. So saving them in the browser is just one way of, of saving passwords and, and, and applying this. And yes, a few years ago, this was a no-no. The industry didn't like it. You know, your security awareness practitioners spoke ill of people saving in browsers. It wasn't safe. Things have changed significantly. All of your top main browsers now from your, your biggest companies have got excellent security in place to, to protect those passwords and encrypt those passwords. And the convenience is, is just key. The convenience is massive. Now, You the first time that you're logging on to any website or, or app through your browser, you know, it's immediately offering, would you like to save these? And it's just, it's that convenient. You save it, you know, with one click, that password and and username is now saved in. Um, and the next time that you you try and log in on that, it's as simple as a very quick biometric scan or or, or, a, or, or a click in and, and you, you're, you're straight in because it's saved there. So convenience is everything. Um, but to answer your question, yes, you know, we we still encourage using password managers. They they're the creme de la creme. They they first prize. Um, browser password managers are are a, a great convenient tool as well to use together. Dad, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Um, are your browser based password managers as secure as a standalone password manager? Um, not all browser password managers are created equally. And, you know, in the same way, not all password manager applications are created equally. So, you know, your your top browsers out there are implementing extremely strong security protocols around their password management systems. Um, they're getting a lot better. The features that they're providing now are also coming along nicely, um, you know, actually creating super complex passwords for you and uh, recommending the different passwords and notifying you if there's been a breach with a password. You know, some of the features we've seen with the more traditional password managers, some of the browsers are now coming out with that as well. So it's it's be very selective on, on which browsers you're choosing to do this with. Um, and, you know, in the same way, be very selective with what password managers you're, you're choosing. And yes, you're saving it to the browser. Anyone with access to your device is going to have access to your browser. So again, you know, actual physical security of your laptops, access to your computers, your laptops, your phones, all of that is is critical if you're going to have this the, the this sort of password management system on your on your on your device. And how do you successfully and safely store your passwords in your browser with, without actually compromising your information? Yeah, cool. Yes. So you know, very quick look at at how we implement this and, and how we do this safely. If you are going to choose to, to use browser password managers, um, firstly, like I said, opt for reputable browsers. Um, you know, stick with the, the, the top browsers known for their security. Um, think Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari, you know, they, they, they're your, your, your top brands here. Um, secondly, you know, the almighty master password, um, create a master passphrase that's you know super super strong strong memorable and and unguessable there for for your management system. Um, enable multi-factor authentication on your browsers so that nobody's getting into your browser 
um, as well there. We've spoken to death about MFA. Um, keep those browsers updated, um, stay secure. So, you know, make sure that any time your browsers are being updated, um, you're uh, updating um, and accepting that and, and getting the, the latest security updates that they're releasing there. And then again, like I mentioned, just be aware of shared devices. Um, you know, using a browser password management system on a shared device is it, it's a big no no. Um, it's like leaving it out in 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 public there for anyone to see. So be be super sure to lock down your devices so nobody else can get on them. Cool. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, I think let's let's maybe just end off the, the episode by recapping uh, browser based password managers. It's obviously super smart, super efficient. And I guess for lack of a better term, it's it's a lazy yet brilliant way to improve your overall cybersecurity. Um, so yeah, Dan, that's that's it for today. Thanks for your time and your insights, and I'll I'll catch you in the next episode. Cheers, mate. See you later.